I learned that in life, in order to know what you want, you have to know what you do not want. For instance, if you want to know freedom, you have to know what is the other side of freedom, like imprison or restrictions. In order to know flexible, you have to know what is rigid, so that you can have a perspective on what the balance of both sides will be. A lot of the times, what we are seeking is the middle point. We're seeking balance in our lives. I know for myself, I've always wanted to have order in my life, to have peace in my life. But for a long time, I did experience a lot of chaos, a lot of strife, a lot of confusion. Over the course of time, I've been able to find the middle point to these elements within myself. And so today we'll be discussing about balance. I'm glad you're able to join me on today's episode. You're welcome again to Creating with Mary. I am Mary and I'm glad you're here. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I want to invite you to click the subscribe button down below this video. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any new uploads from me. I like the video if it resonates with you. So balance is that delicate sweet spot between two extremes so that you are not tilted to one side or the other. A lot of the times we think what it is is that we concentrate on only one side. I have found on the other hand is that it's a delicate balance between what is the opposites. So within us as human beings we have both masculine and the feminine energy both within us. Even within our brain, we have the logical, then we have the emotional side of our brain. So we have those two sides and when we tilt to one side of it, to the detriment of the other side, we we'll lose alignment. Balance is about finding that sweet spot, that alignment, to ensure that you're taking cognizance of both aspects of yourself. We all want that healthy, productive and stable life. That life is in being able to balance the both sides of the equation. <laughs> in mathematics, you have to balance the equation. This side must be equal to this. That gives the balance on both sides. But when you have four here and five here, there is no balance. One is tilted to one side. When you are out of balance, that's when you have frustrations, you have disease, you have depression, you have chaos. But when you're able to find the sweet spot, you're able to have your life very stable and healthy. So how do we obtain balance? I found that in trying to find balance in life, it's very important that we are attentive to ourselves. Pay attention to yourself. How do you feel doing a certain task, doing a certain job? You feel bored. Remember, enthusiasm is how your intuition guides you into what you find that resonates with your soul. You find that you're excited about the task, about the job. That's a form of information giving you that you're in alignment here. You're where you should be. When you find that you're excited, you're not bored, you don't lack energy. You are driven to do that. Paying attention to self also includes taking care of self. Self-care rituals should be a lifestyle that like should not be a one-off. It should be a lifestyle that would take regular care for ourselves. Paying attention to what we need. What's your physical need? Thirst, hunger, rest. Ensure that you feel that need. It's a way that meets your own peculiar circumstance. Then you may have emotional need. You need to be held, you need to be spoken to, you need to connect with others. Pay attention to what you need and move in the direction of what satisfies that need in a healthy format. Spiritual need, you need to fast. There's always the connection between the spirit, body and the mind. I find that when we're in alignment, there should be health. Because you've taken cognizance of what is unhealthy for you to be able to remain in the fine balance between health and disease. Perhaps you are falling sick quite a number of times and you know what drove you there. 
So you're able to move away gradually away from those things that drove you to heel health and find your way into the middle where you're able to stay in optimal health. What would work for one may not necessarily work for other because the purpose for which we are here individually are quite different. So but it's important to know yourself, pay attention to what you are about, what your life is all about and to continue to seek to understand that on a deeper level. The more and more we get to know ourselves on a deeper level, understand our masculine side of life and our feminine side of life and be able to look at both sides and express it in a balanced way. Uh, that, that will give us the optimal joy and health overall. That's what we are all seeking. You cannot build on an unstable surface. You cannot build higher when you don't have a balanced surface to build on. So you have to ensure to continue to find that sweet spot within yourself in order for you to ascend. You know, we want to build story buildings. The foundation has to be solid, strong solid, so that it's not tilting to one side. Because by the time you go way up, the entire building is going to collapse in that direction. But once you find the balance and you move up, then it's able to stay and withstand the pressures of life. I do hope that you keep working on yourself in order to find that sweet spot of what is too much and too little and then to be able to come in into that midpoint where you're stable, you're, you're happy, you're productive, you feel your life is purposeful and you're moving forward in that direction and ensure that you're surrounding yourself with people and vibrations that are good for your energy very important when you're seeking balance so that you don't fall out of alignment mindfulness paying attention to what you're thinking your thoughts if i'm seeking balance and i'm wishing evil on another it's not going to happen balance is understanding that there is no competition between me and the other person i'm here for a purpose very uniquely selected purpose for me I've come to fulfill. No one else can do what I've come to do. No one else. So finding that sweet spot takes patience to even know this self. It takes continuous commitment to self and to the journey of creating that best version of self. I thank you so much for watching today's episode and I'll see you again soon.